This is believed to be from a hospital in China. We cannot verify these pictures, but several videos like this one are going viral. Clearly, there is more to the story. We are expressing concern about the spread of the respiratory virus HMPV throughout Asia after an outbreak in China. Well, China's health authority last week said the virus was spreading throughout the country's north. Hello everyone, welcome to Crystal Medical Life. Today we are going to discuss about human metanumovirus, a topic which making ripples in the medical world, especially due to the recent surge in hospitalizations in China. You might be hearing for the first time, but trust me, it's a two decade old virus discovered in 2001 by Dutch researchers. In 2018, it was linked to 14.2 million acute lower respiratory tract infections, which leads to 16,000 deaths, though mortality rate is less than 0.1%. Epidemiology This global virus is widespread with seasonal peaks in late winter to early spring. The most affected group is children under 5. It's also a significant cause of respiratory illnesses in the elderly and immunocompromised individuals, accounting for 5 to 15 percent of respiratory tract infections in children. It spreads through respiratory droplets, direct contact with infected secretions and contaminated surfaces. The incubation period is 5 to 6 days. High risk population include infants, young children, the elderly, immunocompromised individual and those with chronic conditions like asthma or COPD. Co-infection with respiratory syncytial virus, influenza or rhinovirus can complicate the condition. Now let's focus on the microbiology of this virus. So start with taxonomy. HMPV belongs to the family Pneumoviridae and the genus Metanumovirus. It has two major genotypes A and B, each with sublineages A1, A2, B1 and B2. Its closest related virus is respiratory syncytial virus. HMPV has a non-segmented single-stranded negative sense RNA genome about 13 kilo base long. Each anchor 8 viral proteins arranged in the following order from 3N to 5N like N, P, M, F, M2, SH, G, and L. Now let's see the structural proteins of this virus. So here is the glycoprotein which is involved in initial attachment to host epithelial cells. This one is fusion protein, facilitates viral entry by mediating fusion of the viral envelope with the host membrane. This one is small hydrophobic protein which is SH plays a role in immune evasion. This one is a matrix protein which maintains structural integrity of virus. Next one is the large polymerase which is L and it is RNA dependent RNA polymerase which is responsible for RNA synthesis. Next one is the nucleoprotein which encapsides the viral RNA forming the ribonucleoprotein complex and this phosphoprotein P stabilize this ribonucleoprotein complex and last one is the regulatory proteins M21 M22 which involved in regulation of uh, viral transcription and replication. Now let's see the replication process. G protein binds to the receptors on the host respiratory epithelial cells. Then this F protein which is a fusion protein facilitates fusion of the viral envelope with the host membrane releasing RNA into the cytoplasm. Now this L protein which is a large polymerase transcribe the negative sense RNA into mRNA for viral protein synthesis. And after that this viral RNA is replicated to produce new genome by same polymerase now with new viral RNA and proteins they will assemble at host cell membrane and make new virus and viral will bud off and infecting the neighboring cell. Clinical features including bronchiolitis and pneumonia, flu-like condition, laboratory diagnosis including the RT-PCR reverse transcriptase PCR, ELISA, immunofluorescence also we can do RNA sequencing of this virus. There is no specific treatment for this virus, only supportive therapies given. At this point of time, we do not have any specific vaccine for human metanumovirus. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much.